We've now instituted Columbium CT, also known as XVI, here at Holy Cross Hospital. Uh, what that essentially does is allows us to take a scan of the patient in the treatment position right before they start the treatment. So in the past, we weren't able to deliver high doses of radiation to tumors because the patients would move and uh, the treatments would be inaccurate. A patient has a tumor in the lung, the lungs will move up and down on respiration. With the new system that we have, we can account for the motion so we can still be accurate despite the fact that the patients are breathing and the tumors are moving. So using the XVI cone beam system in combination with our hardware system here at Holy Cross with the electrosynergy machine, we can do what's called stereotactic body radiotherapy. And what this means is it allows us to deliver a very high dose of radiation to a tumor in around five treatments. And that allows for very high accuracy, very high precisely delivered radiation to the tumor, very low dose of radiation to the normal structures, and a very high chance of tumor control. So this patient uh, came to us um, with a tumor in her lung, which could not be operated on. In the past, the only thing that could have been offered is daily radiation treatments for six to seven weeks, would have, which would have only given a control rate of around 30 to 40 percent. Now, with the combination of an XVI cone beam system uh, in combination with stereotactic body radiotherapy, we were able to give a very high dose of radiation on only five to 10 treatments. And I'm happy to say that the chances of tumor control in that area are upwards of 80 to 90%. I've been coming to Holy Cross for over 50 years when we first moved down here. I have a lot of confidence in Holy Cross. Remarked, I think they kind of handpicked these people in the cancer center because <laughs> they're so kind and thoughtful. So uh, at Holy Cross Hospital, not, we're now able to um, offer high intensity radiation to small target volumes with stereotactic radiosurgery to allow better treatments for patients and less side effects.